I've been asked a few times how I've made my shortened canopies for my Mammoth models. So in this video, I'm going to describe how I went about it. So now on screen now is uh, my two shortened canopies and the way I went about them is slightly different, but it's the way they're mounted is exactly the same. It's just the bars that I used. So we start with my first attempt, which is on my steam crane. Now this one, I used an old Mamod canopy bracket, which I cut the rear hoop out of, out of the back of the smoke box. See so that hoop there, I cut that off, shortened it, and then I re-bent it at a 90, 90 degree angle on the bottom. So then it all, go into two holes that are drilled in the front of the smoke box. You can see there, I think it's about mm, five mil down, five mil in, something like that. It's quite hard to drill in, in there, but that's the best way to mount on what well, I think, because it makes it easier for um, taking the canopy off whenever you want to, instead of some sort of bracket being bolted on extra holes to drill in. I just drilled two two holes in the front of the smoke box and of course 90 degree bends just slides in. Actually we take this one off fully off if I can. It can be a bit fiddly to get them off but they do come out alright. So there we go. So hopefully you can see the two holes that are drilled. A bit better. Just in there. A bit hard to drill with a normal DIY hand drill, but a Dremel will probably be getting there a bit better. So here is the canopy on my steam crane. You can see I just riveted them, so they're a bit loose, but that comes in handy for uh, putting them back in. It's got a bit of flexibility. So that's that one. Now, to shorten them, I used this rib as a guide just like a couple mil so I marked across where I wanted it to be I think it's about uh, yeah it's a fourth rib from the back just in front of it I uh, used a ruler drew a line and then on the back of the canopies I like get bringing this longer, well, this longer canopy that I'm making from a showman's engine. See that? Uh, nowhere near finished, but there's two tabs on the back. If you bend them up, you can then slide the frame out, which will then allow you to get a hacksaw. Just carefully cut along your line doesn't take very long it's only soft metal and then you have a shortened canopy and then you just measure and cut the frame the exact same the um, exact same amount you've cut off the canopy and then I used uh, painted it and then I used WD-40 just spray in there to push it back in because otherwise the freshly painted canopy it's a really tight fit, but it's WD-40 helps. So that's that one. And if you look at the second one I did on my Rogue Loco, I used um, three mil steel bar, which looks a lot neater than the first attempt I made. Now on this one, it's riveted. It's got the flat flanges from the original Mammod canopy struts. But on this one, I, uh, I'll take it off carefully. So again, take off the back, slide it forward. It should come out. Should do. Something else. Like there you go. Push them forward, slide them up. Now, 
heat. There you go. It's a simple 90 degree bend at the top and bottom. And I always, I, um, I think I soldered or JB welded washers on there. That's just to stop the strut from going right in to the smoke box. And I also JB welded it through the two strut holes at the top. I think it's JB weld. I use quite a lot. It's quite embarrassing underneath how much I use just to make sure it doesn't come off. But that's JB weld two pack epoxy, which is good stuff. And again, let's shorten the frame up. I don't know if you can see that because it's black. I push that back in, and then you've got a shortened canopy. Let's see again. Two holes in the smoke box. There's washers on the bottom of the struts. It's just to stop them from pushing all the way through and then the bend going through as well. And then you won't be able to get it back out again. But that's that. So if we can put that back in there. A bit tight. But yeah. Quite simple. Easy to do. So just 5mm bar. Two 90 degree bends, one this way, one that way. You obviously measure from your hole up to where you want it to. Do the bends. And then, yeah. You probably solder these on. I know I did on the washers on this one, I soldered on. Soft soldered. It seems to be holding up to the temperature, right? And also, I just remember to cut two notches in here just to hold inside the firebox. See that? Stop it from slipping around. But yeah, that's how you make shortened canopies. So it's a quick video. It's a brief explanation. So I hope you uh, found that useful. And thanks for watching. See you again.